Science, uh, of course, is fundamental to our needs and success right now. Uh, and science uh, is doing at least three things. Uh, science uh, is uh, telling us what the risks are. Uh, so it is uh, absolutely uncovering and reading the Earth's history uh, to say we are in dangerous territory. Uh, whenever the carbon concentration has been at the level it is today, the sea level has been several meters higher uh, than it is today. Uh, that is the work of brilliant science uh, pieced together uh, through uh, many kinds of evidence to read the planetary history. Uh, science is showing how our ecosystems function and how Earth processes work. So this is a second dimension. What are the dynamics at play right now? Uh, and of course, climate modeling, uh, ecosystem modeling, uh, human physical uh, interaction system modeling is uh, absolutely fundamental. Uh, much of this science is quite new. Uh, it's hard. Uh, it's uh, thrilling, uh, the kinds of breakthroughs that are being made. The third area of science is as a uh, foundation for the technological uh, choices that we have. And here I would say engineers, uh, in, in my view, uh, and defined broadly, have a completely central, fundamental role to play in helping us get this right. So in the Sustainable Development Solutions Network, there will be scientists, but there will be lots of engineers. Uh, engineers on energy systems, uh, engineers on hydrology and water management, uh, engineers uh, on uh, uh, transport technologies, engineers uh, in their role as agronomists, how to grow food, engineers uh, in public health, because public health is a kind of engineering field. Uh, we call it a medical, it is a medical field, but it is uh, applying systematic scientific knowledge uh, to uh, population scale solutions. And so in this sense, uh, this is a third role of science, but I'd call it science and technology, and I'd call it science, scientists and engineers uh, to sh help us on solutions and a broader range of solutions than, than we have had up until now. I think that one of the things I want the Sustainable Development Solutions Network to do is to help uh, champion pre-commercial technologies, at least to get them tested, to see what can work, to get cities to say, yeah, we'll try smart grid. It's not exactly uh, known yet, but we want to be pioneers in this area, or we want to be pioneers in self-driving vehicles, or we want to be pioneers in, uh, in uh, all renewable uh, uh, energy systems and so forth. And I'm finding that a lot of places in the world, the mayors, for example, or develop, uh, the, the regional development leaders are coming to me saying, we want to be part of this network and we want to try some of these things early on. That's extremely exciting.